Welcome to Markitecture. We, we can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm Mike Shields, and I'm here with Mark Goldman. He's the co-founder and CEO of Adelaide. Hey, Mark, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me, Mike. So let's take it from the top with the easy one, hopefully, maybe. What does your company do, Mark? So Adelaide is the first platform that helps advertisers understand the quality of the media they're buying using attention metrics. How does the product work now? Who, who uses it? Who pays for it? Where does it go? Where does it live? Yeah, so I think that we're today, we're in the arbitrage phase of attention metrics, and this is where buyers are using attention metrics to optimize away from waste, right? So cutting out those impressions that aren't getting any, any attention. And we're seeing anywhere from like 20 to 30% of impressions can be cut really easily without any impact on outcomes. So these are impressions that were just waste like from the start. Uh, and then we're all, we're also seeing advertisers use the use the data to optimize to drive better results, like finding bargains and finding media that's underpriced through the lens of attention. So both of those, but it's really all about the buy side using the data um, to arbitrage. But I think in any market, as more people have access to the data that's used for arbitrage, you start to see price approach value. And as price gets to that gets really close to value, the 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 val the the value of that arbitrage shrinks, and it becomes more beneficial for the buyer to just ask the seller to guarantee using this new metric that they were using from arbitrage. Okay. And so that's that's where I think we're, we will start to see in the next eighteen months the market shift from buyers using attention metrics for arbitrage to actually starting to transact on it. And that's super exciting to me, right? Because we're creating a new currency and we're, we're creating more transparency. We're, we're rewiring incentives and we're uh, benefiting high value publishers. Okay, I want to come back to the eventual currency discussion, but let, let me just back up. So, okay, right now, this is, it sounds like it's a buy, this is a buy side product either for agencies or for, for uh, advertisers. The majority, yeah. So I'd say about 90% of our business is servicing the buy side and helping them figure out where to buy higher quality media placements. And when you say arbitrage, are they actually, are they, are they going, do you mean they are like reevaluating the media they've already purchased or are they going out and like reselling it somehow? Oh, just like not, not like in the ad tech arbitrage, like yeah, buying that's where and my, reselling. my mind goes immediately, right. <laughs> More in like just using the data to to make more intelligent buying decisions. Okay, so in practice, what does that look like? They go, uh, uh, I don't know. You're gonna go out. You're gonna go out and do a campaign and buy young men and a bunch of sports sites or something. What would happen? How would you be? How would you be in the mix? So they use a, they apply our tag to taggable media. They put a pixel on media that takes a pixel and media that doesn't take either one of those. We ingest like a, log like files. a Facebook or somebody. Yeah, precisely. Uh, and then we we build a dashboard, and that dashboard shows the the AU is our metric. So it shows the AU score on all of the different placements, and then advertisers can cost adjust and understand where they're getting the highest quality media. Now, I mean, media is only one factor in deciding where you want to spend. So they still have to take into account the audience and the context. Uh, but what we're, what we see is advertisers shifting budget towards placements that drive higher AU. But so are you a a planning pre-buy tool, or will you do you also just do some camp, some advertisers run stuff for a little while and then use your your product to evaluate whether they should make changes or both? Well, that's that's the great thing about attention is that any place that you use impressions, you can adjust the quality of those um, those impressions using AU. So we started as measurement, right? That that was sort of our bread and butter. We were applying tags, building dashboards, but very quickly advertisers came to us and like, oh, you can we can use this data for planning, we can use it inside of our MMM, we can use it for programmatic. So this, like let's say in the past six months, we've really seen this explosion of different use cases of attention metrics. And so spreading out beyond just sort of pixel-based measurement. <laughs> 